Don't be a professional artist. I know it's hypocritical coming from me, but hear me out. It's not fun. Social media can give the impression that artists just get in the studio all day, throw paint on canvas, and not have a care in the world, when the truth is, it can be boring and tedious being a full-time artist, keeping up with social media, marketing, website building, which I currently don't have, tracking inventory, pushing your skills, sticking to a studio schedule, trying new material, bookkeeping, applying for events, giving good customer service and more. When art is your full-time job, you spend a good chunk of your time not creating. You won't feel entertained and inspired all the time. You have to create even when inspiration is lacking to maintain productivity. The time right now is 1 a.m. I'm still drunk. Two, it's not easy. When you don't really know, you imagine the process like draw or paint something, put it out there, make money. Easy, right? When it's more like paint something, stage the piece. Photograph in proper lighting, learn social media algorithms so you post at optimal time, price the piece appropriately, wait for sales, which most of the time don't come, work on your skills, create a new piece, repeat the process over and over, and maybe make a sale. This all depends on how you put yourself out there as an artist. As for me, I've just started making originals. All along, I've been doing fan art, taking commissions. I needed to get a lot of things in order first before working on originals and approaching galleries. That's why if you're still a beginner artist or just need more information about the art industry, subscribing to this channel will be something for you as I will be sharing my journey here and not get keep. You have to step out of your comfort zone and push your style. These include technical skills and personal comfort zones. When it comes to skill, you need to be able to objectively access your work and find your weaknesses while also developing your personal style. I've posted a video which you can check out where I take you through the journey to finding my art style. Link to it is on the captions below or at the end screens. I've also been working on this drawing which I began last year. On this drawing, I've been pushing to get to the next level of realism, which is hyperrealism. It's another example of consistently pushing myself out of my comfort zone. 4. You think you will make a lot of money. 2. The end goal of being a professional artist is to make enough money so you can keep creating what you want. But don't just be an artist just because you think you will make lots of money. If you don't have passion for creating, you'll likely be let down or stressed out. It's possible to make a living as an artist, but it's a much more demanding career path than most anticipate. There isn't a correct and straightforward path to success, so it involves a lot of creative thinking, dedication, willingness to fail over and over again. I've been trying so many strategies and a lot have failed, but some are starting to work out. I will be sharing everything on this channel, what works and what doesn't. 5. You think it will make a good money side hustle. Every once in a while it will happen that you get a really good commission or you sell an artwork for good money and somebody sees that and go, what if I did art as a side hustle? Don't. Don't waste your time. Unless you are one of those with good connections or coming from certain families that you can just create something and sell, bro. It takes a lot of work which wouldn't really be worth it as a side hustle. I don't even wanna mention how expensive making art is. 6. You can't handle inconsistency and instability. As an artist, you have to adapt to your situation. You never know where your income may come from. There are no guarantees that the commission you're currently working on will end with a payment or the original or print will sell. To survive, you need to figure out multiple streams of income 
I'll be testing and sharing what's working for me on this channel. If you feel like you wanna be an artist after all I've just said, then you must be passionate. And honestly, that's all you need.